day. Hopefully we'll make it to St. Louis because that's where we're spending the night. So. We're going on a trip. The uh, first leg of our trip is finished. We just got a uh, oil change and a tire rotation in Cookville because we are about to put a whole bunch of miles on this thing in the next, who knows for how long? Forever. Forever. We got Arthur and we're headed on the road. Yeah, first stop is going to be uh, St. Louis. My aunt and uncle live in St. Louis, so we figured we might as well go through and see them and spend the night with them. And then on to, I don't know where we're gonna make it to the next day. So excited! But we're gonna go, we're gonna hopefully see South Dakota and Wyoming and Montana and Idaho. I'm so excited for Idaho. I feel like Idaho's underrated. Everyone's like, People are sleeping on Idaho. <sighs> I'm tired too. Well, same. <sighs> we just started too. He's just it so is, excited to be here. It is absolutely awesome. <laughs> I know he didn't mean to, but it's not good. We have officially arrived in O'Fallon, Missouri, which is where my aunt and uncle live. And we are going to go left, Then turn the right onto Old Highway North. And hang out with them. We've never seen their house before. They've We're come excited. up and, yeah, we've come up and, or they've come up and seen us like a bunch of times. Yeah, a ton. We've never come up to see them. And they've got three dogs. Onto Old Highway North. Yeah, so we're gonna have a house with five dogs in it. Yeah, we're excited. One, two, three, four, and five. So we just left my aunt and uncle's house and we went and got some coffee and it is Finney's fifth birthday today. So we, um, we're gonna take him to a pet store and let him pick out whatever he wanted for his birthday.
dinner. It was this place called M's Club. It was really good. I had Asian chicken satay. Nate had hot roast, even though it's a million degrees outside. <laughs> it was not a very smart choice. It was a very good. However, I ordered it and I was like, I'm sitting on a patio and it is like 85 degrees out here. Yeah, but um, our waitress said, well, welcome to Omaha. There's nothing to do here. And we said, great, thank you so much. <laughs> so that's our experience of um, Omaha so far. The market is cool. That's where we just were. That's where we ate. Lots of cool shops. There really is not much to do. We're going to supposedly like the best safari park in America. Yeah, in the nation. We're going to the safari park and we just put a GoPro up in the back seat. Um, and it is called the Captain Cam. Um, I think it is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> hopefully safari parks aren't like frowned upon. I know, like let's, I'm gonna do a little research <laughs> after the fact. Probably should have before the fact, but I didn't, but we'll see, hopefully it's like geared towards conservation like how you know some zoos you go to and you feel really good about the fact that you went and supported a zoo that's like helping endangered species and then other zoos you go to and you're like i just paid to keep these animals in captivity so okay we'll see you at the safari park As some of you may know, Lee's favorite animals on the planet are birds. I just don't do birds, so mark my words. Nate's gonna have some things to say about me and the bird enclosure. Um, but I said she gotta get a picture in front of that. Your turn. Do you know I'm your friend? I love you, but it's not plastic. I want to see you, buddy. I'm gonna get too close, but you are so beautiful. I love your spots. I think he knows I'm his friend. Just finished up at the Wildlife Safari Park. Very cool. Pro tip, maybe don't go in the middle of the day because it's very hot and a lot of the animals are not out, which is fair. But it was also just a fun activity to do and sit in the AC while it's really hot outside and they have a fox snake in there. Fun fact about me, before Nate and I enter a new state, I go on the state's wildlife website and look up what kind of snakes they have um, and try and educate myself a little bit, especially on the venomous ones. And I saw a picture of a fox snake and I thought, that is such a cool snake, I won't see one out in the wild. And I didn't see one in the wild, but they had one in there and it was beautiful, made my whole day. And there were lots of animals that were like, um, in, in the pond, in the pool. Um, so that was really cool. And it was $12 a person. Yeah, that's not bad. Like, what can you do these days for only $12 a person? Nope. Like, nothing, nothing is that cheap. And I think the boys really liked it. Yeah, and you get to bring your dogs.